All right, so we are gonna start in a seated position just to kasana with your legs crossed, just to take a minute to come to your mat, come into a little focus and check in with your breath. So if you get comfortable in your seated position, close your eyes down and then just for a moment or two, check in with your breath and just watching the natural inhalation and natural exhalation. So no need to force or change your breath, but just notice your breath. Give an extra moment or two here just to kind of wiggle around in your seat, make sure everything feels good and settled and comfortable. And then see if you can start to slow your breath down, drawing the inhale through your nostrils if that's available, and then exhaling through your nose as well. And then see if you can invite a sense of softness into your jaw, a softness into your cheekbones and a softness in the space between your eyes. And then before we move from this place of stillness, just take a moment here to set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice, never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. Beautiful. And then with that intention set, gently open your eyes. And we're going to lean back into the sits bones so that you can just swing your legs out in front of you. And then just with a soft position of your hands, just rock your knees a little bit side to side. What we're shooting for here is just to invite just a little bit of space and looseness into your hips. So notice the internal external rotation in your hips. Just notice how your hips are feeling. And the first posture we're going to take tonight is um, butterfly position. So soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right. I'm, I'm gonna turn sideways just so that you can see. I'm gonna take my pillows and I'm gonna take one pillow and tuck it under one thigh and take my other pillow and tuck it under the other thigh. So soles of the feet together, but I have a fairly wide diamond shape of my legs today. Rather than hugging my heels super close to the groin, I'm gonna let them have a little space. And then once you feel like you've got those pillows really nice and supported, so let the knees be slightly lifted up, then fold yourself over just as far as feels good so that you can allow for a little bit of a rounding of the upper back body. Softening your shoulders, letting your hands find a good comfortable place on the ground. And then just find a stillness here, letting everything settle into this space.
We're about halfway through our hold here. So just tune in and make sure everything is feeling good. Make sure you're breathing effortlessly. So nice, slow and soft inhalation, a nice, slow and soft exhalation. But then also notice if you're gripping in your feet, gripping in your inner thighs or gripping in your shoulders, where can you soften? Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, start to lift yourself up, come up nice and slow, take your time, and then grab your knees and help your knees come together. Move your pillows just off to the side so you have a little bit of room to move, and then just bring it back to those windshield wipers. Swish your knees a little side to side just to bring a little bit of softness back into your hips. Cool. And then when you're ready, you're going to swing your legs over to one side, and then we're going to take our pillows into a nice little stack. So we're going to double stack the pillows and then find this zigzag sideways seat so that we can lean over the stack of pillows. So we're going to get those pillows so that they're going to be able to be tucked up under the ribs. And then you're going to lay over that stack of pillows, get your legs situated so they feel really nice. And then that top arm is just going to reach up and overhead. So we're going to invite this nice big side bend into the body. Once you feel like you've found your way there, let everything soften. Let your head rest on that bottom arm or wherever feels the most comfortable. And then just see if you can tune in and notice your breath. Notice your breath in the side of your body. Take a moment here to notice your legs and notice if you've picked up any tension in your legs, where can you readjust or soften so that your legs are soft and heavy into the earth? And then once you found that softness again, can you let your awareness come back up to your side of your body and just notice your breath, notice that gentle bit of movement in your ribs as you breathe in and out.
Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, start to come up nice and slow. First, release that top hand so it can help assist you on up. And then as you come up, keep that zigzag seat just for a second. Rotate toward your pillows. Just get a little gentle twist to just create a different set of space in that side body. Take a nice big breath. Awesome. And then unwind and swing your legs out and around so that we can come to the other side. So take your stack of pillows with you or move them around in any way that feels like a best way to go. Swing your legs out so that you find that nice little zigzag pattern with your seat and then stack those pillows so that you can tuck them up under the ribs and then lay yourself down in a way that feels good. So you get that little bit of a side bend and that top hand can reach up and overhead and then just let it be nice and heavy. I like to create a little grip so I can interlace my fingers so I don't even have to effort in my hands and that top hand can just hang there. But you find a position that feels good and then see if you can tune back into your breath, noticing the side of your body, noticing the breath in your ribs. Take a moment to check in with your legs and just check and see if you've picked up any tension in the legs or the feet. Can you let them soften? Soften your jaw, soften your cheekbones, and then see if you can tune back into the breath in your side body. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, release your top arm first, come up nice and slow, lift yourself up and away from the pillows. And then we'll rotate towards the pillows and just take a little twist. Take a nice big breath in, nice slow breath out. Nice, and then unwind. And we're gonna flip over into a tabletop position. We're gonna move our stack of pillows towards the front end of the mat. We're gonna use them for a little bit of a ramp, but then you're gonna see how it feels. So you might choose to use the pillows. You might choose to leave the pillows off. We're taking it into a single arm puppy pose. So you're gonna take your left hand and rotate your fingertips in so your elbow and forearm find the ground. And then you're gonna reach your right hand up onto your stack of pillows and then let your forehead find that left forearm 
so that you can just rest your head gently on that forearm. Now, if the pillows feel like it's too much, if it brings you too deep into that puppy pose, then maybe either just take one pillow off or leave the pillows off altogether. But if it feels like a good and comfortable enough position, let everything soften. Let your forehead soften onto your forearm. Soften your shoulders, soften your jaw. And then just see if you can tune into your breath here. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly start to lift yourself off. Pressing into the arm that's down on the ground so that you can find that lift off and then come into tabletop position and take a couple of gentle cat and cows here just to bring a little bit of fluid back into the shoulder blades, a little fluid movement into the spine. Nice, and then find a neutral spine. We're just gonna slide the right leg back so that we can just bring a little bit of life back into the legs, lift that knee up for a second, press into your heel, maybe rock forward and back, and then maybe take that to the other leg. Sliding that right leg in, sliding the left leg long, and then just rocking forward and back, bringing a little length into the back of the other leg. Cool. And since we have three more minutes in that position, just make sure that it feels like your knees have plenty of cushioning. If you need to double stack your mat or take any care of your knees, take a moment to do that. And then when you feel ready, we're going to take it to the other side. So right hand's going to rotate inwards. So fingertips are pointing in when we put that elbow and forearm on the ground. Left hand's going to find that stack of pillows. And then your forehead's going to find your forearm and settle into that shape. Take a second to soften down. And then once you feel like you've got everything in a good position, come back to a little stillness, soften into your breath.
Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, start to come up nice and slow. Walk yourself back up into a tabletop position. Take a couple of cat and cows here. Again, just bringing some fluid back into the spine and in between the shoulder blades and then just notice how your shoulders feel. Great, for our next position, we're gonna take one single pillow. So just take one pillow off your stack and then move the other pillow just a little bit off and out of the way. We're gonna place that pillow so that we can lay our belly onto the pillow. So what we wanna find is that belly in the soft position soft part of the belly. So we really want it right over the belly button or the belly button right over the pillow, however you wanna say that. And then you wanna kind of squish it around so it feels like it's really nice in that soft position of the belly. And then you're just gonna get some crocodile arms. So just stack one hand right on top of the other and then just let your forehead rest down. So the purpose of this is to bring a little compression to the belly so you might notice the pillow kind of putting a little bit of pressure on the belly but it should feel comfortable still and you should be able to breathe with ease feet and hands in a nice soft comfortable position release any efforting in your head or your neck so just let your head rest wherever feels the most comfortable and then with that light bit of compression on your belly just tune back into your breath see if you can take nice deep inhalations filling up the lungs so it moves the diaphragm down and then creates that nice bit of pressure on the belly and then see if you can slow your exhale down. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, start to come up nice and slow. Prop yourself up so that you can come up onto all fours. We're gonna take both pillows with us along the way. So we're gonna recreate our little stack of pillows and then set ourselves up so we can come into a little extended child's pose. So big toes together, knees out nice and wide to the outer edges of your mat, and then take your stack of pillows and hug it up nice and close to you. And then you're just gonna lay over that stack of pillows. And then you're just gonna get super comfy cozy there. So let your butt settle in, find a nice space for your knees. 
soften over that stack of pillows and you can turn your head to the left or to the right. And then at the halfway mark, I'll just tell you to lift up and turn to the other side. So if it feels good to turn your head sideways, go ahead and do that. But if it feels better to just keep it straightforward, do whatever feels the best. And then maybe let your eyes close down and just invite some softness back in. Start down at your feet. See if you can soften your toes and the bottoms of your feet. If your head was turned to one side, go ahead and lift it up and turn it the other way. Let it settle in and get nice and comfortable. And then come back to that stillness, softening into your breath and inviting softness in. Softness into the back of your shoulders, softness into the tops of your thighs. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly start to lift up and off that stack of pillows. Gently bring yourself up. We're gonna move the pillows to the back side of our body and then just sit down on your butt, swing your legs out in front of you, stretch your legs nice and long and then give everything a little bounce. Wiggle out your toes, wiggle out your ankles, bounce out your knees a little bit. <clears throat> And then once you've got everything kind of wiggled out, let your legs just kind of be soft and lengthened out and then find your stack of pillows. And we're gonna take the stack of pillows long ways. You're gonna hug that stack of pillows right up close next to your butt. And then you're just gonna keep it off your tailbone. So we want the spine to be able to relax onto the pillows, but we wanna keep our butt nice and grounded on the earth. And then you're just gonna lay back over that stack of pillows and then let your arms come out at your side. So out in a nice T. So it's in this nice supported fish position. And then you're just gonna let everything hang nice and heavy here. So your arms are gonna be out nice and wide. Let your head tilt back just a little bit if that feels comfortable. Let your legs be soft and loose so that you're just finding a little natural external or internal rotation of the feet, whichever way your feet naturally tend to fall. Just let them be as soft and loose as you can. And then once you find a good position for the body, tune back into your breath. As you inhale, notice that gentle opening through the front of your body. And let your exhale be nice and slow.
Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly start to bring your arms in so that you can prop yourself up on your elbows, sit yourself up nice and slow. And then as you come up to that seated position, bend your knees and just catch hold of your knees. We're just gonna take a little gentle cat cow here. So round your back and then lift your chest just to find that fluid back into the spine. Nice. And then we're going to keep our knees bent so that we can take our little stack of pillows and kind of tuck them up underneath our knees. So you'll play around as you get down onto the ground. So two, two stacked pillows might feel like too much or it just might be a little bit to like deal with. But if it feels like a good position, you'll find your way there. So we're just going to keep our knees bent, lower yourself down on the ground, and then you're going to come down onto the ground, lift your hips up, and then see if you can slide those pillows underneath your butt. So it's gonna create a little ramp for your hips. So make sure it feels like it's a good position. You might opt for just one pillow if two pillows feels like too much. But once you've found your way into that supported bridge, come back to a nice open arm position. Give a second to just let everything settle in. Let your hips get nice and heavy onto the pillows. Let your arms get nice and heavy. Let your shoulder head soften into the ground. And then just take a few moments here just to tune back into your breath. Take a moment here to tune back and down to your feet. So notice if you're holding tension or gripping in your toes, maybe give your toes just a little wiggle and then let your feet soften. Soften the tops of the feet, soften the bottoms of the feet, soften the toes. And then let that sense of softness find your calves and your shins. So see if you can release any efforting in the calves or the shins. And then see if you can release any efforting in the knees and then let the thighs get a little softer, let your hips get a little heavier onto your stack of pillows. Take one more breath here. Now we're gonna keep the stack of pillows underneath the hips if you can. Lift your right knee up, <laughs> lift your right knee up and then see if you can just reach up and catch hold of the knee. Left leg is gonna slide nice and long. And then you're gonna see which feels better to keep a single hand hold on the knee or double hand hold so that you can just keep a little bit of a weight of your hands holding onto that knee. So you might opt to just interlace your fingers and let them hang kind of heavy on the knee so that the knee drops a little closer to the chest. But if that feels like it's a little bit too intense, you can always just let go and just let your knee stay bent. So totally up to you how firm you hold onto that right knee. But the whole 
real effort is in that left leg extended long and finding a little length through the front of the left hip flexor. So see if you can find sensation there. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, relax back into your breath. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, pull the left knee up into the chest and then hold on to the left knee, let your right leg go nice and long. So we're just taking that right to the other side. If you like a single hand hold or a double hand hold, totally up to you. Interlacing the fingers and holding onto the knee makes it a nice, easy grip so you don't have to effort too much. But whatever handhold works best for you, the real work is happening over in that right hip now that that right leg is extended long. See if you can tune in and notice the front of the right hip flexor. Let your shoulders soften. Let your jaw soften. Relax your toes and your feet.
Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, you're gonna pull the right knee in to meet the left. So both knees are gonna be in that little bent position. Take a little gentle rock side to side, nothing too extreme because you got those pillows stacked underneath you. So you wanna make sure you're staying safe, safe on your spine. And then when you're ready, float your feet back down to the ground. You're gonna lift your butt up and just push the pillows out from underneath you so they find their way into that bend of your knees. And then let your hips settle down. Take a second to just kind of snuggle your shoulder blades into place. Make sure everything feels like it's in a good and happy position. And then when you feel ready, pull the right knee into your chest, bring the left knee into meet. Give a little gentle rock side to side here. Awesome, and then we're gonna float our knees into a bent knee position. So think 90 degree bend tabletop position. And then we're gonna drop the knees over to the right. So we're gonna take it into a little spinal twist. Just let the knees drop down to the ground. Take your right hand, the outside of your left thighs and then press your thighs down into the ground. Draw your left shoulder down. So we find that nice opposite reaction. Thighs pressing down, shoulder pressing down and then turn your head to the left and take three nice deep breaths here. When you're ready, turn your head back up so it's looking up at the ceiling. Release your hand from your thighs. Float the knees up to center. Pull them into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, a gentle rock side to side. And then we'll take that little twist, twist to the other side. So feet come into that bent knee position. Drop your knees over to the left. Let them sink all the way down. Right hand extends out. Left hand to the thighs. Press your thighs down into the ground. Press your shoulder down into the ground. Turn your head to the right and come back to your breath. Three nice, big, deep inhales here. Awesome, and then when you're ready, slowly start to turn your head up towards the ceiling, release your hand from your thighs, float those knees back up to center, pull them into your chest, give yourself one last little squeeze, and then think legs up the wall. So float your heels up towards the ceiling with a nice generous bend in the knees. And we're just gonna give a little point and flex of the feet just to kind of loosen up the legs, loosen up the ankles, and find a little length through the backs of the legs again. So pull the toes in towards your chest and then push them up towards the ceiling. Cool, and then when you're ready, you're gonna to start to find your way into your Shavasana. If it feels good, you're just gonna float your feet back down to the ground and then let your legs rest comfortably over that stack of pillows. So it's gonna create a nice little bent knee position and this might, might feel nice and supportive on the low back. But if that does not feel like a good position, feel free to rearrange your stack of pillows or get them out of the way entirely and then come into a position with your body that feels the most restful to you. Nice, take a moment or two to just kind of work out all those little wiggles, make sure everything feels like it's in a nice and happy position. Legs feel good, shoulders feel good. And then just see if you can soften everything down. Soften your breath back to a natural rhythm. Soften your muscles around your bones. Just let your bones get nice and heavy into the ground. Soften the outer edges of your skin. Soft jaw, soft cheekbones. Soften your eyes.
start to bring your awareness back into your body. Gently wiggle the fingers and the toes. Invite a little gentle movement into your wrists and your ankles. Maybe bring a little bend to the knees, a little movement into the elbows. And then if it feels good, take a good morning stretch like a yawn. Stretch from fingers to toes. Take a nice deep breath back into your body. And then slowly and mindfully find your way up to a comfortable seated position. Take your time as you come up. Nice. And then as you come up, just take a second to wiggle into your seat, soften your shoulders down, close your eyes down, and then just for a moment, notice. Notice the floor beneath your seat, nice and solid and grounding. Notice the air on your skin. And notice the quality of your breath. Take a nice big inhale. Nice slow exhale. Awesome. And then just to finish, we're going to take our little light piano fingers and do a nice little tap right at the front of the chest. So think down to the sternum and up to the collarbones. And we're just going to tap lightly up and down. If you like, close your eyes down here so you can just tune in and listen, noticing that little tapping sensation. You might feel it in your breath. Beautiful, take one more little tap up and down and then just take one hand, stack it on your heart and stack the other hand right on top. Let your head bow down, take a nice deep breath in. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and the time that you take to take care of yourself. And breathe in a whole bunch of extra love and gratitude that you can carry with you through the rest of your evening and maybe even into the rest of your week. Gently lift up through the top of your head. Gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy, happy Monday. I'm so glad to have you back. <laughs>